Hello friends, welcome to Wisdom Jobs. This is Rupesh Jadav here. Today we are going to see the forest and mountain soil. Previously I have made the videos on alluvial soil, black soil, red and yellow soil, laterite soil, then uh, aride and uh, desert soil, peaty and marshy soil, saline and alkaline soil. If you have not watched those videos, please watch it. And before going for this video, we should you should please uh, subscribe our channel wisdom jobs if you have not subscribed it yet you are going to lose lot and let me tell you this video is very much helpful for the students who are preparing for 10th 12th and graduation level and the students who are preparing for various competitive exams can also refer this video so let's go now the name itself says this is the forest and mountain soil so definitely you will find this soil the name itself says that forest and mountain soil so either you will find it on the mountainous slope or that area where there is dense forest so dense forest is there in that area you will find this uh, so, uh, soil or at the mountain area so where there is now it occupies the area near about 8.67 percent that is 2.85 lakh square kilometer of the total geographical area of india then it where it is found it is found in the snow bound area now snow bound area is found in the himalayas so don't consider this as a himalaya you can consider this as a western ghat but in snow bound area this is the snow line this is the snow line above which generally we find the alpine forest so that region which will have snow in one one level will be of summer let's consider this is the snow line at the summer and this is the snow line at the winter so this one is the winter and this one is the summer snow line so it you will find this forest this uh, soil in that area so the forest growing in this part will have that type of soil secondly the forest with sufficient amount of rainfall so the sufficient when the word is used sufficient amount of rainfall it must be up, up above 150 centimeter so 150 centimeter plus area will have this uh, kind of uh, soil you will find this type of soil here then again it will you will find this type of soil soil in lower valleys so the soil which is getting deposited over the lower valleys in this area so we will have this thing so you have to keep it in mind in general sense it is said it is it has not demarcated a particular area the requirement is number one the snow bound areas of himalaya number two that forest area which have sufficient rainfall and number three the lower valley where everything all the sediments get accumulated now what is the nature of this soil it is loamy and silty on the valley side so in the valley side it is loamy it may be loamy plus silty but on the slope side on the upper part it will be somewhat coarser so here it may be coarser that is the grains of the soil or the texture of the soil is somewhat larger one here it is loamy and silty it means it is fine fine one and this one is larger one and again it will it will it has been acidic now let me tell you throughout the my uh, soil topic i have never explained you what is the acidic and basic or acidic and alkaline soil what are the major contents whenever there is large organic matter it depends on organic matter if organic matter is more in the soil then if it is more it will be basic or alkaline soil and when the organic matter is low, less it is acidic why organic matter is less because the leaves the dead animals which are there on the ground if they didn't get decomposed the soil becomes acidic it should get totally decomposed if it get decomposed totally it will change into organic matter and if it not decomposed it will remain undecomposed and the soil will be acidic if it get decomposed it will change into organic matter which will provide humus so humus is more it is alkaline soil so i can say that humus proportion of humus is more in this soil while the proportion of humus in this soil is less you can keep this point student generally think that it is about the pH it is not about the pH only now why the pH obviously the pH scale it will show less than 7 so it will be acidic 
it is showing more than 7 so it is alkaline then that is okay but that is not the proper answer for the geography part it is for chemistry chemistry angle now you have to keep this thing in mind that whenever there is humus content in less it will be acidic humus content will be more it is alkaline and humus content depend on the organic matter and organic matter should be decomposed and if it is going to decompose then it will be acidic or alkaline the rate of that so as it will be acidic with low humus so low humus on slope because on the slope here it is acidic or on the valley side it is alkaline so on the slope side it is not getting totally decomposed the organic matter which are falling there the leaves and the other parts okay it is not getting decomposed totally so it is acidic while in the valley side it gets decomposed so hence it is alkaline again acidic soil you might be knowing that the fertile the soil fertility which is required to grow or the as uh, ph which is required to grow the crops it is considered to be the best soil considered to be of the ph from 6.5 okay if the ph is 6.5 it is said to be the best soil so 6.5 to 7.5 is permitted for the growing the crops right when it is so here it, as it is acidic it is sterile or not utilized for cultivation so it is not fruitful or it is not fertile it is sterile or in infertile but the alkaline soil is considered to be the fertile one so this becomes the fertile soil please try to understand i have explained in a very easy manner and in a very short term the major concept of the soil about the uh, acidic and alkaline if you remember this you will be it will be very helpful for you so this was all about the forest and mountain soil hope you uh, understood everything so please give like comment and share the videos to your friend and also subscribe our channel wisdom jobs if you have not subscribed it please subscribe it thank you